If you're an entrepreneur who has ever wondered why the marketing you're doing isn't producing better results for you, then this video series will help you. Today is the second in a series of five videos where we're going to talk about five questions that will make you a better marketer. Last week we covered question one, this week we're going to cover question two. I'm Lori Reeves, founder and CEO of Brand Strength. I help overwhelmed entrepreneurs easily attract more of their dream clients by understanding how to communicate the strengths of their brand. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, this is video number two of a five video series. If you missed the first one, I want you to go back. It really does help if you do these in order. So if you have not watched the video that I did last week where I talked about question number one, I want you to go back real quick and watch that five to six minutes long. It's not going to take you very long and then come back to this video. So today we're going to talk about question number two. Question number two is what is my ideal client feeling? Okay, again, we're going to relate this to the two different scenarios before they work with you and after. Again, we're going to use the same scenario of the web design client, the web designer who has clients who are ready to up level and show to the world that they've made it to this next level and that they're ready to start, you know, acquiring clients who are paying more and are not those beginner level clients. Okay, so what would your client be feeling in the situation before they hire you? The feelings that they might feel are frustration, that they feel like their website is kind of keeping them stuck. So that feels frustrating because as much as they want to grow their audience, get more higher paying clients in, they're not sending people to their website. And that's frustrating because they know there's good information there. It just doesn't look the way they feel it should look for the level that they have arrived at. So they may be feeling frustration. They may be feeling anxiety that if they don't do something about this, then this is going to keep them at the level where they are instead of allowing them to grow into the version or the vision of themselves that they see at this higher level. Okay, so I want you to be thinking about what are they feeling? What feeling would they say they have inside? Again, let's look at the opposite, okay? After they have worked with you. So in my case, if I'm serving clients who, let's say, are coaches and they're ready to start charging more after they've worked with me and they have the solution that I offered to them, what feeling are they having then? They might feel a level of excitement, of anticipation. They might feel they actually might feel a little scared, to be honest, because now that they have this brand new vision of themselves, it's like they've crossed over this line and the outward appearance of what they look like is a little bit overwhelming, right? It's a little bit scary. But if you can address that in the marketing that you're doing and know that you can say, like, I know that right now it's frustrating. You have this vision of having this gorgeous website. And when you get there, it may feel like you're breaking through a new level. And that's completely normal. The more you can show that you understand your clients and how they're feeling both before they work with you and after they work with you, then they feel like you really get them and that you are the best person for them to choose instead of just some person who's going to be, you know, a pixel pusher, somebody who's just going to do the work and not really be emotionally invested in the success or the process that the client is going to go through during the process of working with you, right? So as long as you are really digging in, again, try to kind of step into that persona of your ideal client and feel what they would feel before they work with you and after they work with you. So again, you can tie those together and say, you are probably feeling this and you want to be feeling this, okay? And I can help you go from feeling frustrated and anxiety ridden and stuck to finally excited to share your website with the world and full of hope for what the future of your business holds now that you have this amazing, gorgeous outward appearance of the success that you've already achieved. 
okay? So again, this is a series of five videos. We're gonna go through one question per week through the month of August. Again, if you're not in my Facebook group, I would love to invite you to come on over because I'm going to dig into each of these questions every week in August a little bit of a different way that's going to help your business in a different way. We're using the same five questions. And again, these questions are magical. Okay. So if you're not in my Facebook group, it's completely free. There's a link to it in the description of this video if you look below. So go ahead and hop into the group if you're not already in there. If you are, I can't wait to explore these ideas with you further. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel so that you get a little notification every time I release a new weekly video to help you shortcut your success, right? Do better at marketing so that you can spend less time marketing and more time serving those amazing people that you want to serve in this world so that you can make the impact that you really want to make. So I hope to see you on the next video or in my Facebook group and I'll talk to you again soon.